Clyde Locri, is a burgh in the council area of Perth and Kinross in Scotland, lying on the River Tummel. Its population according to the 2011 census was 2,776. It is largely a Victorian town, which developed into a tourist resort due to Queen Victoria visiting the area in 1842, and the arrival of the railway in 1863. It remains a popular tourist resort today and is particularly known as a centre for hill walking, surrounded by mountains such as Ben Brackey and E. Hellion. It is popular as a base for coach holidays. The town has retained many stone-built Victorian buildings and the main street has an unusual period cast iron canopy over one side. History, Pidlow Creek today dates largely from Victorian times, although the areas known as Moulin and Port Nar Craig are much older. History records that Moulin Kirk was granted by the Earl of Athol to Dunfermline Abbey in 1180 and Moulin became a burgh of Barony in 1511. Port Nar Craig was the site of the original ferry over the River Tummel which operated until the suspension footbridge was built in 1913. Building between these two separate communities followed the construction of the military road north in the 18th century which followed the line of the present Main Street. Moulin contained the parish school which was attended by Alexander Mackenzie the second Prime Minister of Canada. This schoolhouse Blair Mount now operates as a luxury holiday rental. In 1842 Queen Victoria visited Perthshire on one of her grand tours and her favourable opinion of the area caused the town to be more widely noticed. After the railway station was built in 1863, Pidlocri became a favoured destination for tourists. In 1947 Pitlochry became a burgh. That year also saw the beginning of construction of a dam as part of the Tummel hydroelectric power scheme. The dam and its fish ladder are a popular tourist attraction today. The damming of the river created an artificial lock, Loch Foscali but flooded a large area north of the town including the old recreation park which was relocated to its current position. From the 1960s, Sir Robert Watson Watt an inventor of radar, and his wife, Dame Catherine Jane Trefusis Forbes, director of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force in World War II, lived at her summer house, the observatory, in Pitlochry. Both are buried in the churchyard of the Episcopal Church of the Holy Trinity at Pitlochry. Pitlochry Festival Theatre was founded by John Stewart in 1951, originally situated in a tent in the grounds of Nockey and Darrock House in Lower Oakfield. The tent became semi-permanent and remained there for 30 years until the current building at Port Nar Craig opened in 1981. The town was awarded a gold medal in the 2009 Britain in Bloom Horticultural Contest, and outright winner in the category of small town. Governance Pidlochry is part of the Perth and Kinross Council area. The Scottish parliamentary constituency is Tayside North, represented by John Swinney of the Scottish National Party. The British Parliament constituency is Perth and North Perthshire. The MP is Peter Ashart, also of the Scottish National Party. Demography At the 2011 census, Pidlochry had a population of 2,776. In the same census, 29.2% of residents were reported as being 65 years old or older, significantly higher than 16.8% for Scotland as a whole. The median ages for females and males were 51 and 49 respectively, compared to 42 and 40 for the whole of Scotland. Economy Pidlochry's main tourist attraction is its setting, with the surrounding mountains attracting ill walkers and climbers. Other outdoor activities, such as angling and boating, are also popular. Being in the geographical centre of Scotland, it is a popular touring base, the town has two whiskey distilleries, whose visitor centres are popular attractions, Etrida, which is the smallest legal distillery in Scotland, and Blair Athol Distillery, which dates back to 1798. Etrida sits to the east of town at the foot of the Moulin Muir. It is privately owned and produces only 12 casks per week with a production workforce of three men. Unchanged since it started making whiskey, it is the last example of a traditional distillery and hugely popular with visitors. Blair Athol sits on the main road at the southeast of town and since 1933 has been owned by Bells, now part of the Dargia Group. Its visitor facilities are state-of-the-art. 
the power station's dam is known for its 310-meter salmon ladder. Fish can be viewed swimming from weir to weir within the ladder, via an underwater viewing station or a video from inside the visitor center. Over 5,000 salmon pass through annually. The dam and power station were completed in 1951 as the last link in the Tummel hydroelectric power scheme which comprises nine power stations and reservoirs. The new reservoir, which was named Loch Foscali, was built across the river Tummel, flooding a large area upstream. The concrete dam incorporates massive steel floodgates to control water levels, with a walkway across the top with viewing windows to the powerhouse. Despite considerable local opposition to the construction of the new lock and power station, it became an instant attraction and now includes a visitor center, explaining hydroelectric generation and the lives of the gangs of workmen who built the system. The chain of reservoirs and dams has been a great help in controlling the flooding problems of the Tay Valley to the east. The motto of Scottish hydroelectric is Nut Naglian. Churches, there are a number of churches in Pitlochry including the Church of Scotland Parish Church of Pidlochry Church of Scotland on Church Road which was built in 1884. Holy Trinity, an Episcopal church at the eastern end of Pidlochry, was built in 1858. Pidlochry Baptist Church, built in 1884, is situated at the east end of the main street. There is a small Roman Catholic church, St. Bride's, at Ryachan near Loch Foscale which was established in 1949 as a temporary facility for workers building the dam and power station there. However when the workers moved on the chapel remained and following a fire the present building was built on the same site. Transport, the town, which lies 26 miles north of Perth is bypassed by the main A9 Inverness to Perth Road since 1981, and has a railway station on the Highland Main Line. The town lies at the eastern end of the Rob Roy Way, a long-distance footpath that runs from Dryman. Arts and Culture In 1951, John Stewart created the Pitlochry Festival Theatre, originally held in a tent. Today it occupies a modern, spacious glass-fronted building with open aspects across the River Tumel and Ben Rackey. The theatre operates a unique repertoire system which means visitors to the area can see a different play every day during their summer season festival. Open all year round. The Winter Words Festival, first held in 2004, is a 10-day literary festival that takes place every year in early February. Most events take place at the Pitlochry Festival Theatre, which attracts over 40 authors, broadcasters, wordsmiths and personalities. The Sound and Light Show, The Enchanted Forest, takes place in Pitlochry's nearby Foscarly Wood every year in October, attracting 20,000 visitors to the town. Every Monday during the summer, the Vale of Athol Pipe Band hosts a traditional evening of music, dancing and song, beginning and ending with a short parade along the high street. Climate, as with the rest of the British Isles and Scotland. Pidlochry experiences a maritime climate with cool summers and mild winters. The nearest official Met Office weather station for which online records are available is Foscarly, about two miles northwest of the town centre. Typically the warmest day of the year will rise to 26.3 degrees Celsius and the coldest night will fall to a 10.6 degree Celsius. Sport, Pidlochry is home to the Vale of Athol Football Club. The Vale were founded in 1879 and originally played at the old recreation park now situated at the bottom of Loch Foscarly. Relocating along with the pavilion in the 1950s when the dam was built to the current location the Vale were regular competitors in the Scottish Cup in the past having played ties against the likes of Dundee and Hibernian. The Vale's most famous former player is Paul Sturrock, who remains a committed Vale supporter. The Vale's only first division championship victory was in the 1990s but recently tasted second division success in 2004 May. The Athol Highlanders rugby team, created in 2007, also play at the Recreation Park. Pidlochry Highland Games has been held annually on the second Saturday of September since 1852 and is the last event in the Scottish Highland Games calendar. In 1852 the original recreation park was formed on the north bank of the tunnel at the foot of Raya Chan Road across what is now known as Ladies Dell. However, with the building of the dam, 
the old park was flooded in 1950 and the games moved to the new and current recreation park. The original pavilion had been dismantled and was re-erected for 1951. It remains unchanged externally today but was upgraded internally in 1964. A feature of the games is the Pipe Band Championship which attracts a large entry and culminates in the unique Mass Pipe Band Parade at the end of the day. Eve Muirhead, the Olympic curler, played at a club in Pitlochry before the demolition of the curling rink. Twin Towns, Confolens, Glen Innes, New South Wales. References External links Pitlochry Partnership, Perth and Kinross Council, Perthshire Tourist Board, Perthshire and Blairgowrie Tourist Board, Pitlochry Church of Scotland, Pitlochry Tourist Attractions, A Critique of Pitlochry Festival Theatre by Paul Eels and the Laughing Audience.